Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to show you how we test endurance lasers and how we confirm that they have actual and tested uh, and rated power output. So we have a colorimeter that is here. You can read in internet how does it work. Uh, and we're pretty much sure that it's calibrated well enough for these wavelengths and we have uh, meters um, LCD screen that shows uh, laser power so this uh, like 5 maybe 10 percent plus or minus and our 10 watt uh, laser 10 watt plus is, is here and you can see and now we're going to test so first of all I want to say that we use Nichia diodes and we test every single laser uh, manually making make sure that uh, it has um, it has no defects in terms of the crystal and when we test it we use G2 short focal lens because it has a very good uh, coefficient for uh, transpassing of power so uh, that's how we're going to make tests so first of all I need to unplug the power because when um, the wind actually is going it cools uh, a little bit of this uh, device so it should, doesn't show accurate uh, results. So now I'm going to turn on full power. Goggles on. Full power on. Okay and probably yes you can see how bright it is and we have uh, laser power that is increasing. So it has some inertia so this device actually cannot measure the same second as you turn it on so it has some time to to uh, to warm up and you see so it's closer to 8.5 watt CV power so when we say that it's 10 watt plus what is very important and we stated all over our website that it, it gives more it actually gives even more than 10 watt in impulse mode I showed another video and I'm going to put a link here how we make impulse power so you see that it's 8.5 watt uh, CV power. It's actually fluctuates a little bit. So let me turn on um, the cooler, and this average power probably will go down a little bit. Oops. Okay. So oh, actually, it's. It's even it's now it's increasing because the temperature of um, the heat sink inside heat sink it's uh, actually getting colder and colder uh, less temperature you have it's uh, more power of the diode is now the temperature for the laser diode is 28 uh, Celsius so which is uh, which is actually pretty good also another interesting thing that if I move it closer to power should probably increase a little bit no not necessarily however you see that it's kind of yes now now that you see that wind is actually going inside and uh, it loses a little bit of power so if I unplug the power should should be probably a little bit more Still, the, these data are. Oops, no, sorry, apps. Missing. Okay, yeah, so now you see it's even even more. So, zero, uh, 9.3 watts. So, that's really, really good result for, for 10 watt plus laser. Let me uh, turn it off and let's test another. Another laser, let's test 10 watt. We have it here. Our 10 watt um, laser unit. Uh, and, okay, there you go. Our laser driver. Power on. Okay, we need to reset. Reset. Okay. Probably already. Yeah, we have a regular lens, so we need to unscrew it. Let's unscrew and add the same G2 lens as we used in our previous experiment.
make sure that the lens is clean it's very very important okay and full power it's not very much focus so I need to focus a little bit a little bit better otherwise half of its power goes somewhere we don't know okay. so now I see we're doing alright so it's increasing so 8 watt average power so a little bit less power powerful than 10 watt plus but uh, still pretty good result for for this type of that let me let me move it a little bit closer okay, as you can see closer I move more power we get but still not as powerful as 10 watt plus but uh, 8.6 watt so not bad at all so that was my uh, actually brief video I want to share with you uh, how we do uh, measurement of our uh, lasers and how we test them manually so if you have any questions or any concerns about laser power let me know and we'll be happy to assist you have a wonderful and great day and experience with endurance lasers bye bye